We have a magnificent new train, a big long passenger train. I am, I think, going to allocate this to one of our employees. However, the first thing that I am going to do is uh, probably do a train run. We are in the service centre at London. G'day everybody, welcome back to Train Life. Let's have a little squiz at the uh, let's have a little squiz at the map here. We're at the London Steam Mill. So what I was thinking of doing is we can run into London Main, and uh, we'll pick up some passengers there, and maybe take them down to. Uh, we could go to yeah, we'll go to Calais. Why not? Let's. Can't find route destination really. Okay, we can head towards that way. Uh, we'll probably reverse. We do need to. We do need to move. Um, move out of here forward. So, uh, moves pretty well, doesn't she? It's quite a long train, really, isn't it? <laughs> it's a very long train, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I thought we might uh, give this one a go and see how we go. Doing a uh, doing a little bit of a passenger run on this. What have we got at the moment? We've got uh, three three employees out doing stuff at the moment, so uh, we're going to throw another one on this passenger train as soon as we unlock a couple of uh, a couple of extra sort of passenger routes and stuff like that, and some extra stations. So, although we have been to quite a few, but uh, I'm hoping to put in a uh, probably a London to somewhere service. I guess, and um, and roll with that. So if we go through here, and then we go straight through and sort of head up to London Main. So there we go. Let's put a little bit of break in. Haven't driven this before. Haven't driven it before. So it's going to be pretty interesting. Let's go back inside, and uh, we will change our reverser to that. We'll go down to there. We will change our switch to there. Oh, she sounds good, doesn't it? She sounds very good. A little bit of uh, high speed. These are these are high speed, aren't they? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that they are. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a very, very good looking train. Very good looking train. I apologize to everybody. I haven't put one of these out for quite a while. Uh, I have been, I admit it, I have been a, a addicted and obsessed with a little bit of uh, farming simulator. So we're going to go to there. And then uh, from there, we are going to go down to Calais, Maine. Can't find a route to destination. Really? You should be able to find a route to. I don't want to go down to, um, oh, we could go down to there. Can't find a route to that destination either. Okay, that's interesting. I don't know what's going on there. So maybe we'll, uh, we'll head over to, uh, we'll head over to Maine and, uh, to London, Maine. Because I haven't been there. This is as far as I've been on London. I know that there were a couple of little, uh, routing issues and routing bugs here. But, uh, hopefully they've fixed those up, so... I'm not sure. A, a patch did come out again. Another patch has come out again. So um, they're continuing. They've done ten patches and a major update since uh, since the game's been released, which is actually pretty damn awesome, if you ask me. So pretty awesome. All right. So we're going to stay left. Yes, we are. Lovely. And we did do a drop off on the uh, on the stream that I did. Um, on the stream that I did with the major update, we did a uh, drop off at London Steel Mill, which was pretty cool. That was quite a long run, uh, and that was good. And that gave us enough money, obviously, to um, to purchase ourselves this train, which is pretty cool. So let's uh, watch this. Watch the slipping of the wheels there. I'm guessing this little beast is going to probably speed up a lot quicker. Than, uh, than anything else. Now, I've only seen a, a maximum 120 speed limit here, so I'm guessing that uh, I'm guessing that this train will be running at a very minimal in, in regards to uh, what it could or, or what it's capable of, so. It's actually pretty cool, isn't it? Headlights are on. 
cabin lights. We can put the cabin lights on. There we go. My apologies to those of you that like the cabin lights on. I did forget to put them on, so... Uh, but they are on now. Check it out. It's looking good. It's looking good. Incline alert. Dead man's button. Perform coupling and uh, decoupling. Got the horn there. Uh, switch cabin. Okay, so switching from back to right. Uh, from front to back, sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Dead man switch went off. I just sneezed in case you were wondering. Alright, sticking to the right. No longer have access to London Steel Mill. That's fine. We're happy with that. We've got a 120 speed limit coming up as the next speed limit. So, uh, next one is 110 actually. Uh, we're sticking right. Going left. Got a little bit concerned about that. <laughs> I thought we were going to go into there. Which could have been a bit of an issue. So um, they have uh, also done some more work on routing and stuff as well, which is absolutely awesome. There we go. Ninety-seven passengers, ninety-three grand. Lovely. Although I didn't, see, I didn't see any of that come through on our money, did it? So animals near the track. That's fine. We can deal with animals near the track. We'll keep our eye out. We'll keep our eye out there. Ah, over there. I wonder whether that's actually marking where the animals are. Might be. Uh, right. Got to keep my eye on that. It uh, runs very well. It runs very, very well. There we go. It's run off. There we go. Got it. Beautiful. Uh, next speed limit, oh, the speed limit is 120, so we can uh, roll through here. It's pretty exciting coming through here. They've also done some frame rate. Uh, they've also done some frame rate stuff as well. So I uh, worked on that. Uh, we were having some frame drops uh, in some areas. Um, and uh, they've done some work on that, which is absolutely awesome. So we need to make sure that we're at uh, 80 by the time we get to the next next set of uh, signals so which is right here there we go beautiful uh, sticking to the right all right despite the fact that we are going at the speeds we would normally travel in our goods train I, I feel I feel a little bit stressed and overwhelmed I feel like things are going to come up really really quickly in this just purely because it feels really fast to start off with so Pretty exciting. Okie dokie. So I'm just wondering now whether or not we'll be able to, we're on our way into London, Maine, whether we'll be able to find routing to Calais. No, we can't. Is that because, is that because we're uh, in the wrong end of the train? Is that why? So I'm wondering what's going to happen when we get into into London Main. Actually, let's let's call ahead London Main uh, services uh, passenger boarding. Uh, sorry, we're not on your designated route, but you are. But you are. Uh, query information. Uh, generates we have no available contracts and 122 wagons at the station okay services uh, it's because it won't uh, oh, what we could do what we could do is uh, we could stop here well this is looking really nice coming in here isn't it Oh, this is looking lovely coming in here. Check that rat out. I wonder where that's going. So I'm just going to stop up here. See if I can uh, see if I can sort of sort this out. It's looking beautiful though, isn't it? 
Might just be a sightseeing trip. So if we go to there and switch cabin. Right. And then we go to the map. And then we should be able to hit that. No, can't find it. It's not on our destination. Okay. Hmm. All right, let's... Uh, Oh, cars over there. All right, let's uh, switch cabin again. Let's just let's let's go into let's go into uh, London Main anyway and uh, see what we can do. All right, there we go. If nothing, it's a little bit of sightseeing, just a little bit of sightseeing. So let's uh, go into there. We'll go into London Main. We'll go to services, station access, and uh, awaiting your arrival. Beautiful. We'll go back. Let's see if they've got any passengers boarding. No. <clears throat> okay, there's might be a little bit of an issue there. Might be a little bit of an issue. All right, there we go. Look at that. That's beautiful coming in there it's very quiet from out here isn't it <laughs> it's very quiet from out there is this is this uh we're going through a tunnel over here hmm beautiful all right I'll grab a screenshot there let's go back into the cab again whoa that could have been an issue. It'd be nice to see them bring that sound to outside as well. If, you, uh, if you're if you one of those people that prefer to be outside, doing your outside view most of the time, then that would actually be pretty cool if they could make that alert come up outside as well somehow. Um, just to sort of, because uh, quite often I've been outside admiring the train and the scenery and, um, and the dead man switch has gone off, so... Here we go. Loud. The correct, the correct noise. Here we go. Oh, that's amazing. I love it. I oh, know small things amuse small minds. Small things amuse small minds. And we've got a 50 speed limit here. Going left. She's done such a good job in the tunnels and they've done such a good job of the sound of this train as well. Being the first time that uh, that I've actually run this train. Going through to the left. I wonder what's up there. Future. There's some future stuff up there. There we go. All right, what do we got? We've got a 50 speed limit coming up. Coming into London, Maine. We get to go through the signals, no worries, because we already have uh, we already have access. There we go. And we'll see if we can... Uh, oh, crap. Now, is London, Maine, is it, is it like a... Um, like an enclosed station? It's not like an open station, is it? I don't know, because I've never been to London, Maine before, obviously. Obviously, I've never been to the UK, which I would love to go to the UK. Maybe one day we will get there. Maybe one day we will get there. Um, okay, so we're just coming through the tunnel, and it's kind of... looks kind of open. It's very, very nice. You guys let me know... Um, you know, you guys from the UK, let me know. Is uh, is London, Maine in this? Um, is it pretty well the same? Have they modelled it? Have they modelled it exactly exactly the same? Or uh, it's looking nice though. It's looking very nice. I love it through here. I reckon I could see myself doing a lot of passenger runs on this. A lot of passenger runs. Uh, we're going left by the looks of it. 
in we go. Look at that through there. Welcome to London, Maine. All right, I need to put a little bit of a little bit of breakage. Where are these passengers? Got a few passengers there. Looks nice, doesn't it? Looks very nice. Okay, we'll pull up here and uh, we will see if we can. Uh, we'll see if we can do London's King, London King's Cross, Platform Four. We'll stop this guy up here. There we go. I love stations like this. It's pretty cool. I'm trying to think of. Uh, I'm trying to think of. Um, I'm trying to think of uh, London like uh, this station in uh, Train Sim World, but I can't for some, for some reason. I can't recall it. So let's have a look at what we've got there. <clears throat> we are at London, Maine. All right, now we are here, and we're going to take a lovely screenshot right there. There we go, perfect. Uh, we will see if we can uh, if we can go from there, from London, Maine to uh, to Calais. Yes, we can. All right, that should be pretty cool. So what we will do now is uh, I'm guessing let's have let's have a really quick squeeze at our driver map. We've got uh, drivers out there doing stuff. One's resting. Uh, we've got one doing um, pump jack deliveries, like pickups and uh, and d deliveries. Got one doing food processing, and one doing um, doing some um, some passenger stuff. So let's get out of there. Let's uh, call in and call into London, Maine, and see if we can uh, services three, passenger boarding three. Uh, it says we're not on your designated route. Okay, so that was that's a little bit of a bum, isn't it? Uh, I don't think we have any passengers on board company, my train. Uh, passengers, no contracts available. So it looks like that was a uh, looks like that was a little bit of a bum. All right, okay, a little bit of a bum out there, but we've been here and we have unlocked it, so that should be pretty cool. So if we go to map. And we go to Calais and then uh, go to, to Lille. Can't find a route to that destination. So there's a little bit of a route planning bug there. Route planner. London. Oh. Clear all stations. Let's go from London to Calais. Maybe it's because I didn't go into the route planning. Okay, let's apply that to the GPS confirm and now let's see if we've got any passengers uh, services three passenger boarding three uh, we are waiting for you go to the station proceed to the indicated track okay so that was the reason why that's probably my mess up right there uh, where is the indicated track it's around there by the looks of it so okay let's uh there we go. Let's uh, move out here. Come on, you can go, you can go. We've got no power. Oh, do we have to... No power at all. Okay, what's going on? Headlights are on. Cabin lights are on. Uh... What else do we have? Temperatures. Uh, let's see. Toggle doors. Toggle wipers. Can't open doors. Uh, secure train with emergency brake first. Okay, I don't think we can... Uh, don't think we can do anything. The emergency brake is on. I don't know why we've got no power. Switch track over there. 
Switch cabin. No, 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 no. We should be going. We should be able to go, shouldn't we? There we go. We can move now. So we'll move out of here. We'll go into the track that uh, that they want us to go into. And, um, and we'll pick up some passengers. All right, so we've got an approaching train. So we've got to keep our eye on that. So I'm just going to slow down a little bit. So the last thing that we want to do is, uh, the last thing that we want to do is to, uh, get ourselves in strife with an approaching train. Now those signals aren't red. They're red now. What side of the train, what side of the track is, ah, uh, it's on the left hand side, so that's okay. Beautiful. You can see it in there. On the left hand side, is this a goods train? Is a goods train going into London, Maine? Might be. Might be. Looks like it is. I don't know where that's going to go. I hope that doesn't, uh, I hope that doesn't affect our, um, I'm hoping that that doesn't affect our, our ability to get into our, um, into our destination, like our, our, our track, our London main track that we've got to pick our passengers up on. Let's just drop that down, throw that in as well. There we go, beautiful. All right, brake on. Put our emergency brake on, switch cabs again. Let's uh, switch over to the other side. Love the fact that we can uh, that we can switch these over, and we should be okay to uh, to roll. There we go. Although what we're going to do in regards to that train being on that track, I have no idea. Unless he's bypassing somehow. Does he bypass? Ah, oh, he just disappeared. Okay. All right. In we come. Okay, we'll pull up here. We'll get on the other end of the train. We'll open the doors and uh, and we will load some passengers. <laughs> it was a little bit of messing around. My mistake. I didn't put it in my GPS, so uh, I must I must make sure that I get used to that. All right, in we go. There we go. Slow this up here. That'll do. I'm happy with that. Let's put the brake on. Let's uh, swap ends of the train over to here. And we will open our doors. There was a door open thing right there. Train must be inside the boarding area. Are you sh crapping me? It's because the train's too long, isn't it? That's why. Opening doors. All right, I'll wait until the passengers have boarded. And then once the passengers have boarded, then I'll swap ends. <laughs> there we go. Close the doors. Closing, closing, closing. Back to the other end and we are on our way out. Approaching train has been spotted. I'm guessing that we're probably going to have to wait right here, aren't we? There we go. All right, we'll wait here for this approaching train. Just to be safe. It's actually the, um, that's like two trains have, have come through in uh, in a matter of a few minutes. That's pretty cool, really. So they're obviously doing some work. I don't know why he's not on the right track. I don't know why he's on the left track coming through. Because we should be on that track going out, so. Right. What's he got? He's, it's another goods train. So I'm guessing that there's, uh, I'm guessing that there's been some sort of bypass here. Is there? Don't know. I have no idea where they're going. I have no idea where the goods trains are going. Waiting. 
Nothing more than waiting. Now, he's stopped there, has he? But can we proceed or not? I don't know. I'm a little bit, uh, I'm a little bit confused as to the flashing lights. Well, I'm going to go. I'm going to go and I'm going to stick to the left track. And I'm going to see what happens. And stick to the left track, stick to the left track. Can't go past there. Can we go past there or not? Are we going to get a fine? No, we're not. Okay. There we go. Do we actually, we didn't even, we didn't even check to see whether we've got any passengers on board. Uh, we do for Calais, Maine. Beautiful. Uh, so we will go back to here. Oh no, we need to go back to the map. We need to throw that on as our destination. All right, perfect. We seem to have got away with that, so. All right, so I've noticed they still have a, a couple of uh, speed limit issues with the uh, speed limits dropping. I just went through a section that was uh, dropped from, it said the speed limit was, uh, we were supposed to be 120, which we were. It also said that the next speed limit was 120 kilometers an hour. Uh, but it, it went through a little zone. Look, see here, you go see, that was telling us, now it's telling us the next speed limit. Um, it, it's just kind of, we, we went through a little section where it just dropped all of a sudden from, um, from, tw uh, from 120 to um to 100 and then pop back up to 120 just in a really short space so i think that's probably something they still need to look at because uh i did come across a couple of areas that were like that basically but um yeah but everything seems to be running relatively smoothly and stuff i'm um it's uh, in comparison to what it was last time i came through here when i was on stream shit There we go. We didn't uh, we didn't get permission to go through the blocking station. Why is it taking us through London Steel Mill? London Sawmill. Fine 450 euros, great. It shouldn't be taking us through here. It should have been it should have been tracking us through like via past here, so I didn't keep my eye on that. I have to keep my eye on that when I'm doing routing and stuff because uh, I was not expecting that. I was expecting a clear run all the way to Calais. All right, going through the, uh, I think this is the uh, Euro Tunnel, isn't it? Through here? Pretty sure it is. All right, it's, uh, it's been saying that my next speed limit uh, is 100 kilometers an hour for, for quite a few speed signs now, but we haven't hit it yet, so. Uh, straight through the Euro Tunnel, underneath the channel, and uh, out the other side in Europe. That's pretty cool. It's a, uh, it's, it's quite, it is quite a long tunnel. It's actually, uh, yeah, it's, it's quite fun quite fun i remember coming through this on the way so we're uh technically i don't know whether we're technically until we're halfway through the tunnel left uh left the uk and arrived in europe i'm guessing there's a point somewhere where that's the case so all right we are at the end of the tunnel there we go that took quite a while to go through that was pretty awesome i actually really enjoyed that okay so it's saying now it's changed from the next speed limit being 100 to the next speed limit being 80. So I'm not sure how far away that is. And I'm not sure whether to believe it or not. Welcome to Europe, everybody. Welcome to Europe. Oh, we've got a broken down train ahead somewhere. Okay, interesting. Where's that? That's 700 meters away. So we need to figure out what's going on here. Hopefully we'll have some form of indication as to where we are supposed to go and what track we are supposed to be on. 
Now, is that a caution or is that a stop? We're soon going to find out, aren't we? It looks like we've got to go to the left. Okay. It is all a little bit, uh, a little. Some some of these little little events and some of the trains on and stuff like that are a little bit, um, a little bit confusing. Just a little bit confusing. So let's see, uh, let's see what's going to happen and where this broken down train is. It's uh, well, it's uh, we know that it's over there now. I don't know whether that's inside the Calais warehouse or whether it's. Uh, hmm. Well, that's around the corner there, so we're heading around this way anyway. So it probably doesn't really affect us, does it? Somebody's got a nice warm fire going there. We'll see if we can see it from uh, from outside. Can we see the broken down train? Nah, it's kind of half a kilometre away, so... So we're probably not going to see that. We got speed limit uh, 80 kilometers an hour, and then the next speed limit coming up is going to be 50. Yeah, he's broken down. He's he's over there somewhere. So into Calais. I think this is the first time we've been into Calais as well. So uh, we could probably we could probably call through very very soon yeah we could probably call through very soon in fact we could probably call through now uh next calais main we're looking for right there uh services three uh passenger boarding yep uh we're here waiting for you beautiful all right sweet although i don't know if it's passenger it's more passenger unloading rather than boarding isn't it all right, we'll cruise through here into Calais. Haven't it's, uh, it's always nice going to to uh, to new areas of the map and stuff as well. And once we've unlocked these stations, I should be able to do a massive run with an employee from uh, from maybe from London. Uh, I could have a, a train running that direction all the time between those two, but uh, we could do a you know like a London to uh, to maybe. Aachen there or uh, Luxembourg or anything like that it would uh, it would actually be a pretty good run to have a, a good employee on going backwards and forwards you should be able to make a fair bit of money doing that uh, there's, there's certainly not as much money in passenger runs as there is in um, uh, in cargo runs though I will admit so we really need to put a little bit of speed up on this I think uh, running employees. Although we could, uh, we could probably, um, we could probably do some long passenger. I could probably do, but like we could do some long passenger runs in this and see how that goes as well. So might be interesting. It might be interesting to do a really, really long run, and uh, maybe in the next episode we might do a really long run in this thing. And uh, see what kind of money we can do. Maybe even a multiple station. I don't know whether the multiple stations are working now or not. Um, but we could try that out most definitely. Okay, we have reached the uh, we have reached the uh, signals for Calais Main, or we're we're just about to reach it and just about to access the station. So around we go. Around we go. It's out there. Is there water? Ah, oh, yeah. This, the, the, would that be? Would that be the English Channel? Would that be the English Channel out there? No, no, it doesn't look like it. Okay, I don't know. I, I get lost. I would get lost in Europe. I would get completely and utterly lost in Europe. Okay, here we go. Station access. Lovely. I'm going to come in here relatively slowly. Let everybody know that we are on our way. Uh, keep our eyes on those signals and what's happening. It's looks like we're going over the right-hand side. I reckon once we get around here, we're probably going to have to swap. Yep, there we go. All right, straight through, straight into uh, Calais, Maine. Drop these passengers off, see how we go. See what kind of money we make. 
be nice to make some decent money. It did just show before that uh, it came up with an alert that our employer had just made $93,000, but our, uh, our money didn't actually go up, so I don't know what's going on there. Let's roll into the station here. I have, I did get a little bit of, uh, on that trip, uh, in some of those areas, I did get a little bit of, um, uh, rubber banding. So, uh, I did experience a little bit of that, interestingly enough. Um, so, probably a little bit more work to do on optimization and all that type of stuff, but, uh, for now, it's 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 been a, it's actually been a pretty good trip and, a, and quite an enjoyable trip. Uh, we just had that uh, that little speed glitch where it dropped from 120 to 100 and then back up to 120 without any notification or warning. The uh, the next speed limit things up the top don't really um, uh, are not really that accurate. They're a little bit confusing at times, so. Let's get this beast right in here. Let's start slowing down now. Move you up to there. Got to remember that the uh, front of the train is actually quite a long way away from the window sill there because it's, uh, because it's pretty um, uh, it's a pretty long nose. Let's uh, toggle those doors. Secure the sorry yes. Secure the train. Drop those brakes down, and off we go. Train must be inside boarding area. You are crapping me. You are crapping me. Let's go to the other end of the train. And there we go. All right, perfect. I, I must have I must have pulled in a little bit too uh, too far. There we go. Departing passengers. Lovely. We shouldn't. Oh, we've got boarding passengers. I wonder where those boarding passengers are. So what did we make? We made maybe thirty grand, thirty-seven grand, which is what it which which is what it said that we would make. So let's toggle those doors there and closed. Can't find route to destination. That is fine because we do not have a destination at this particular point in time. Let's go into the company. We have uh, all right. So we've got passengers. To go to uh, London, Maine from Calais. So it will be a backwards and a forwards thing in the Eagle. But there you go, guys. That is cool. Uh, employee list. Profit a day. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, she's pretty. Uh, she's got a level up by the looks of it. Sign perk points. She has one perk point. So what we're going to do, um, I think... We're going to do maximum distance. We're going to do maximum distance or uh, it's taken her a long time to actually level up, to be honest. Or are we going to do energy? Uh, affects the maximum energy of the employer, but also the speed at which they regenerate energy while resting. Uh, the maximum distance that the employee driver can travel during a task. We're going to go back. We're going to put that in there, I reckon. So... There we go. That's the first time she has done it. She's driving a. Uh, she's driving a one of these, um, and she's doing. She's in Glow Main, so she's just going backwards and forwards between those two stations. Everything else, she's a uh, sixty-six percent through her job. She's ninety-four percent through her job. So uh, there we go. That is awesome. Do we have any skills that we can unlock? Yes, we do. Uh, more money from employees. Yes, I think we're going to do that. There we go. That's well worth doing. That is well worth doing. But anyway, guys, that is it for, uh, for, for this one. I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. And uh, I will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.